Hi there, thanks for joining me. Welcome to my channel Yarn Over with Arthritis. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be making a newborn baby hat. I'm using a 3.5mm hook and I've got this lovely mint green double knit or 8 ply yarn. And I've also got a white pom-pom to match or you could find a mint green pom-pom to place on top of the hat. So let's get started with the band of the hat. Let's start with a slip knot and chain 66. This will be the length of the band, which will be between 13 and 14 inches. Our first round we'll start in the second chain and single crochet into every stitch. Now join the ends together and slip stitch into the first stitch and when I've finished the hat I'll use that yarn, tail yarn to sew in and close the other side of the band. Chain one and we're going to do a front post half double crochet into the first stitch. Chain two 
and then our next stitch we'll do a back post half double crochet and then we'll repeat so front post half double crochet then back post half double crochet At the end of the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. And that's our first round done. Now we want to repeat the, the last round. So chain one, and we're going to front post. You can see the front post and the back post, and just repeat for another round. And we're going to repeat another round of front posts and back posts half double crochet. So chain one, front post half double crochet and one back post double crochet.
Now we're going to start the body of the hat. So chain one and we're going to single crochet into every stitch. Our next round of pattern we're going to chain two and work one double crochet into that stitch where the chains are. Now we'll skip two stitches and on the third stitch we'll work one double crochet then we'll go back to the first skip stitch and work one double crochet and we're going to repeat this around the hat. So skip two stitches and on the third one double crochet then go back to the first skip stitch and work another double crochet and repeat around the hat At the end of the row we'll work one double crochet on the last stitch and slip stitch into the first stitch. Our next round we're going to slip stitch into every stitch. So don't make a chain, slip stitch into every stitch and don't pull the stitches too tightly, just keep them at an even tension.
So that's our three rounds of pattern and we're going to start that three rounds over again. So chain one and we're going to single crochet into every stitch but not the front slip stitch. We're going to single crochet into the back stitches as you see on the video. Now we're going to do the round with the crossover stitch. So chain two and work one double crochet into the first stitch. And then we're going to skip two stitches. And on the third stitch, work one double crochet. And then go back to the first skip stitch and work one double crochet and then we'll repeat In the last round of pattern, we'll slip stitch into every stitch. And that's the three rows of pattern. We're going to repeat these three rows of pattern until our hat measures five inches long. Now we're going to decrease for the top of the hat. So chain one and decrease into every stitch.
Now this round will also be a decreasing round, so chain one and decrease into every stitch. With your sewing needle close up the end of the band and fasten off and hide the tail yarn. Now with your sewing needle you're going to sew around the top of the hat and fasten off. Now I'm going to attach the pom-pom, so I've got a button, I'm going to attach the button in the middle of the hat underneath the hat, just with some cotton and a sewing needle. Now that we've fastened the button, with the elastic toggle on the pom-pom, you'll put your crochet hook through the middle to the outside and then hook your crochet hook around the elastic and pull the elastic through and place around the button and then you've fastened your pom-pom and then we've finished our hat. Thanks for watching my video, don't forget to like and subscribe and share my videos. Hope you found the pattern really easy to follow and you can create some beautiful hats with it. Take care, talk to you soon.